Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kalen from White Glove Models, and I have a uh, little bit of an issue with the Bismarck. Um, so we are going to take care of that here on the Patron channel today. So you guys are going to be the only ones getting to see this, which is pretty cool. So when the Bismarck came, a lot of the parts on the sprues, they, they need to be sanded down, and I'm also not too pleased with how uh, the color looks on them. So... What I'm going to do is, uh, for your eyes only, basically, is before we uh, put the um, actual build together, I'm going to go through, I have stages one through eight here in uh, my little box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate some of the parts from the screws, clean them up, get some of those mold lines out of it, and then we're going to prime everything and get it ready and painted uh, and then that's what you guys are basically going to be seeing, just that portion of it. And then the regular build of the Bismarck will be on the regular YouTube channel. So that's what we're going to be taking care of today, is getting these ready for the actual build itself. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. All right, so here we have the tackle box that I keep all of the parts in, and I pretty much do this with all of my uh, builds. Um, even even the plastic kits, I'll have uh, little bins for them that I kind of separate things into if I need to. And what I did when I uh, took the Bismarck out of uh, the boxes that it came in, I just kind of organized everything by stage that it would be built in. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually removing all of the stage one parts that uh, need to be cleaned up. And as you'll see, um, as the video progresses, I will be uh, sanding them down and filing different parts, cleaning up the seam lines and getting them basically ready for paint. And as you can see, a lot of these parts, uh, you know, you could barely see the seam on them, but it was enough to bother me. So I ended up uh, doing my best to kind of clean it up. And some of them had very uh, various different ridges and detail in them. So cleaning up those parts uh, proved to be a little bit difficult, 
uh, but and and at this point I'm I'm only using a like a cosmetic uh, file. It's basically more of a polisher than anything else, and uh, it wasn't quite cutting into it as fast as you would like in most cases. But I would take the knife and kind of clean it up a little bit, um, and then just more or less using this to polish it out and buff it out. Uh, I did eventually start using uh, some different files, but the files that I had at the time uh, were diamond files and they would hog out too much material. Um, since this filming, I have uh, purchased some other files that you'll see in later videos on the channel that are just superb and they're, they're perfect for uh, model making because they're kind of like a jeweler's file uh, and they, they just don't hog out as much which would have been nice to have these um, for this portion of the build but I now I have those files to use them um, on later portions of this build as you guys will see down the road. And basically at this point I was pretty happy with all of the parts that I had cleaned up and it was time to move on to stage two, which is the Anton gun or the forward um, bow gun uh, that was on the front of the Bismarck. And so I'll pull out all of the parts that I need for that. I ended up cleaning up a few that didn't necessarily need cleaning up because you're never going to see them. But I was also concerned about uh, some of the flash maybe restricting some of the movement. So I clean that up a little bit and then you're going to see me start working on the barrels themselves, which is primarily what is the remainder of this video. So you'll get to see that entire process as I uh, start cleaning up the barrels and boring out the actual hole in the barrel to make it bigger, deeper and wider, which is uh, pretty exciting. So let's carry on. So again, at the time that I filmed this, this was the probably the uh, less vigorous file that I had. Um, sanding paper wasn't quite going to cut into the uh, the metal, the sanding sticks that I had. So I used this nail file, and um, it did a pretty good job. But it was very slow, and it still was hogging out more material more material than I would really like. Uh, but um, at this time this was all I had so it was what I used and it did a fairly good job. It was just a very long um, process to, to try to uh, file that seam on the barrel down.
And at this point, I'm pretty happy with the seam on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start boring out the barrel. Uh, these had a very, very tiny pinhole uh, in the barrel, which I, I wasn't happy with. So I decided to bore them out. And here I'll grab my vise. And you'll see later on in the video, I'm having some trouble with it staying in the vise. So I take a piece of uh, sanding sponge and I use that to kind of help grip it and hold it into the vise. And what I'll do is I'll start out with various different uh, uh, drill bit sizes and work my way down until I am satisfied with the actual um, uh, width and depth of that bore, whatever you want to call it. And one thing that I wasn't doing right off the bat was using oil and it dawned on me, you know, when I'm out in my workshop working uh, with my drill press and things like that, when I'm, whenever I'm drilling into metal, I always use three in one oil. And so um, I always have three in one oil for putting in screws uh, on the metal builds and stuff. So I ended up grabbing that and just using that to basically uh, it helps with the cut of uh, the drill bit keeps the drill bit from getting too hot and uh, and also damage it prevent helps to prevent or slow down damaging the drill bit uh, but so just basic three in one oil is what I have on my workbench all the time and that's what I would be using and um, you also see later on I'm going from different uh, uh, pin vices that I'm using and one of them has a smaller bit the other one has a larger and I'll be explaining that here in just a moment. And now that I'm pretty much satisfied with uh, how the first barrel is coming along, I go ahead and start working on that seam line on the second barrel.
So kind of what I'm doing is, so I have a different drill bit in each of the pin vices. Um, there is the smaller one, which I just kind of start uh, the hole with, working my way down. And then I'll use the second one to widen it a little bit. And then uh, you'll see a little bit of it, but I don't show the entire uh, process of it. But I'll take the my power drill and uh, end up going down with the power drill to um, make it and that the power drill had the uh, exact size bit in it that I wanted for the overall width but I took it down to uh, about a quarter of an inch is about how far I went in maybe a little bit more um, just to give it some depth and uh, the power drill was definitely the fastest way to go about the final portion of it but I was too afraid to use it in the initial drilling because I wanted that hole to be as dead center as possible and I ended up achieving that with one of them the second barrel uh, if you do look at it closely it is a little bit off but it is what it is and overall I think this uh, really turned out very well. So at this point I was really happy with how the second one had turned out so and it was a little bit uh, deeper than the first one so I kind of went back and started the whole process again with the uh, with the first one so that it would match as close as possible.
So here you can see them side by side and you can tell that one is a little bit deeper than the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this. And there you can see we have both of them are basically uh, complete and ready to be primed and painted. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, special patron only video and member only video. Um, I definitely do appreciate uh, Ian Campbell, who was our very first patron. He is uh, the proud owner of Partwork Upgrades. And if you've never checked out Part Partwork Upgrades in the UK, uh, just look for them. Um, and there's also a link to uh, part work upgrades in the description down below and you can always head over there and see some of the wonderful things He has come up with for the Bismarck as well as countless other builds like the Ecto-1 and DeLorean and things like that um, And thank you so much Ian for your patronage and I truly appreciate all your support for the channel and if this is something that you guys are enjoying um, and want to uh, see more of this format for the patron only channel, please let me know. Um, I am willing to uh, maybe go a little bit more in depth into things if you would like to, uh, to have me do that. So thanks again for watching and thank you for all of your support out there. And other than that, take care.